So let's do this, um, this set of the psoas muscle and the hip is very good. Okay? And um, now, we're going to be um, the most difficult for people is to raise the circum up because in what with the batak, <laughs> the batak here. So sometimes people have big and heavy batak you cannot lift up. So you have to exercise them until you can lift it up. <laughs> Otherwise you get trouble for that. You need to lift up your batak. And when you stretch out, you are stretching out from the, you're stretching out from the lumbar. Okay? Not from the knee. You see that? The arrow from the lumbar up, stretch up. So, um, so that very important part to, to understand it and bear in the mind that you want to stretch out the lumbar. Okay? You want to stretch out the lumbar. Okay? So, so in this position, you hold. So you see here, you press your lumbar, you raise your circum, and you see, lumbar up. Now if I do like this, it's not the lumbar but my knee. If I do like this, you see the difference there? Eh? See that? If I go up like this, it's my knee. Now if I go like this, I raise my lumbar, I stretch from the lumbar, and I teach. So what are you teaching? What do you teach the muscle to do? Huh? The soy muscle. You are training the soy muscle. It's just like, it's just like you are, a baby try to hold something. You see that? Uh, a, be, uh, a child try to get a pen and try to write some ABC. You see? It's a training. When the people never train in writing, they can't even write, sign your name, the name, because they never train. So their, their mind never wilding. So what we are doing here now is the same, okay? We're doing the same thing is this. You are rewilding and train your muscle. And why did muscle are important? Because it's a soil muscle, okay? The same thing in Tai Chi. The same thing in Tai Chi, okay? If I, if I do like this, I use my leg muscle, okay? Now, if I relax, smiling to my sweat muscle, and very relaxed, think about the groin and lift up from the groin and standing up, what muscle I use? Sweat muscle. You have the idea about that? If I go like this, I use my arm muscle, I use my leg muscle, no spinal muscle, no spinal cord muscle, nothing. So that's why Tai Chi, when you do it right, you are one of the best training of the soil muscle. Okay? So, sing. I turn from the quad. When I lift up the quad, I tell the body to work on the soil muscle. And I lift up my leg very slowly, and I put it down very slowly, and I slowly turn it down, and this is soil muscle. Now when I turn, soil muscle. When I lift up, soil muscle. So very different. You can actually feel that your soil muscles are working. Otherwise, you end up with So you're using your leg muscle and your soil muscle getting weaker and weaker and never train. Why soil muscle are important? Because it holds the base of the building. Is that right? It holds the base of the building. Is that important or not important? A building of 20, no, 34 story high and the, the base of the Building have to be strong in order to hold all the rest of the 32 buildings. Is that right? Right or wrong? Right? Because, and that is a soil muscle doing that, doing the job. Okay? So the soil muscle is very wonderful because we can, 
We never build a, uh, we never build a, 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 a tower, tall, 32 story, and then bend. <laughs> we never build that, right? <laughs> now the Japan, they try to build the building. When the earthquake, they can move like this. Okay? In California, also do that, the earthquake. So the whole building actually can move, can moving in the foundation way. Okay? But um, they cannot make the building bend left and bend right and go down like this. And that is the muscle doing that. Okay? So that's why to train the soil muscle is extremely important. So what you're learning this set, whole, whole set now, is training the soil muscle. You must get this right. You get it right, you have very good back, strong back. And you always learn how to stress them. Stress open. So your lumbar will not compress. Okay? okay. Now you need to... You need to, let me show you, you might need a partner to help. Okay. At the beginning, if you help by lift up the buttock up, okay. now stress from the lumbar, stress, no, not the knee, lumbar, lumbar stress up like this, stress upward, and you push your knee. Okay. Ah, now it's right, you see? It's stress from the lumbar and go out. Up, stress from the lumbar. Lumbar, stretch up and down. Okay? You see that? It's different from knee. Okay? Different from only moving the knee. This one, you la- you first you raise your buttock up and you try to push from the lumbar out. Tell the lump, tell, not difficult, you tell your soul and muscle, hey, stretch. <laughs> That's it. Hey, you stretch. And the lumbar, and the lumbar say, the soil muscle say, oh, okay, I stretch. Because it's under our command, right? It, but we never train them. Like you said, close your feet. You close. Open your feet, you open, right? It under what? Your command. You say, move pinky finger, move ring finger, it move. Right? It's under command because we train. So all the muscles are under the command. So I muscle the same. If you understand it, make it very simple. If you don't understand it, you don't know why. Okay? So, inhale. Exhale, press your lumbar down, and raise your second first. Okay, everybody that do it right. Inhale. Exhale, press your lumbar down to the ground, and raise your second. Exhale, press your lumbar down, and raise your second. Okay, get that? And feel, press it down and raise your second and feel the lumbar stretch out. The lumbar stretch out. Okay? Feel it. Feel your lumbar slightly pull open, pull longer. You press it down and tilt your second upward. Ah, but keep your lumbar down. Keep your lumbar down. Okay? Okay, now put your knee together and hold your knee. Inhale, exhale, raise your sacrum and push from the lumbar and push your knee toward the, the, the ceiling. Put your knee toward the ceiling, not your feet to the ceiling. Knee, and feel you opening your lumbar. Hold for a moment, breathe. Breathe it. And inhale, relax. Exhale again. Grab your knee and press your knee toward the heaven from the lumbar. And relax. Exhale. Push up and relax. Heart sound to the kidney.
Now, now we're going to be this one. This one, you press the, your, 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 your red lumbar and then the lumbar push again your knee and your hand push again the knee. And you need a lot of power, so you need to clean your teeth and you need to press your tongue up to the palate and you push. You need a lot of internal power. Okay? So inhale. Exhale. Can your teeth press your tongue? And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. One whole exercise. So now we're going to go into the, um, your knee, your elbow push out, your elbow push out, the knee try to come in. And you have to be feel that you're getting the power from the psoas muscle. So the whole thing is you're training the psoas muscle stronger. Okay? So if I do like this, if I do like this, my knee only move, move there's no power. If my knee only move like this, no power. So I inhale, exhale, I raise my lumbar, and you see that? I move my lumbar. I move my lumbar. When I move my lumbar like this, I working, exercising my soil muscle. And remember soil muscle, sometimes we refer to them the muscle of the soul. So it is very important, right? The muscle of the soul. So maybe this, this is the, the, the summer palace of the soul house, you know? So they call the summer, <laughs> so they call the muscle of the soul. So when they, when they, they get boarding in their house, they want to come into the soul and muscle to stay for a while. So that is called the soul, <laughs> the, <laughs> the muscle of the soul. Okay? So let's do it. Exhale. Hand together. Elbow out, inhale, exhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Can your teeth press your tongue? And inhale, relax. Let me see your buttock raise up, everybody. <laughs> Some of you, your buttock still not go up higher. Exhale, squeeze, press. And inhale, relax. And relax. Smile to your soft muscle. Smile to your soul and muscle. It's very important part to um, every day do some shoulder stand. Is uh, you reverse the flow from the top down to the bottom, okay? And um, definitely a head stand is better. But um, this is also very important for the lower back and the lumbar. So, up. Cold and breathing.
and down. Let's do the monkey flick the legs. So this is um, this position is very good to um, to uh, we call uh, make the soil muscle even, more even. So it's not pull one side too much. Okay. So. And this is what a baby always play with that. Actually, you do a lot of baby doing, you know. So sometimes the baby is the, the teacher for the towing for you, you know. You hold, make it even, and breathe to the soil muscle. Feel your soil muscle and breathing. Feel them even. And 